Hello everyone. Today we are going to go through Flatland Space Stations, which is a problem on the implementation station of algorithm on Akarain. So without wasting time, let us have a look on the problem statement. So in this problem statement, what we are supposed to do is that we are supposed to determine the maximum distance from any city to east nearest space station. Now, a little bit of context. We have as input a given number of cities, and then some of those cities has space station and some don't. And then we are supposed to find out the maximum distance from any city to reach the nearest space station. Let's imagine we are in a situation where every city has a space station. So basically the nearest, the, the maximum distance will be zero, right? Okay, let's consider you have some city without uh, a space, without space station. In that scenario, you're supposed to find out what is the distance, like the minimum distance from that city to the nearest space station. Or what is the distance from that city to the nearest space station? And then if you have many elements that don't have cities, that doesn't have space station, you're supposed to find out the minimum of all those elements, and then you, are, you need to return the maximum. Let's take this one for instance. We have five cities. The city zero has a space station. So the distance from this one to a space station is actually zero. So this one is zero. This one, the distance from this one to the nearest space station is one. Why is it one? Because you can just move here, one. This one, is two. Why is it two? Because you can either go this one, two, or you can go this way, one, two. So this one is two. This one is actually the maximum. This one is how many? One. This one is one. So it doesn't affect this one. So actually, we should return two because two is the is the, the value that satisfy the condition we just did. Now, given that, how are we going to solve it? So an interesting way of saying this is that. Whenever you have two space station, the one or the city that have the maximum distance is actually the middle of the element in between those station. That means if I take maybe uh, from zero to four, I have those city one, two, three here, yeah, which doesn't have station. And then the one that will make the, I will say the biggest effort is the middle element. So find out the middle element, like the middle element of um, the distance in between two cities, which gives you the maximum uh, distance that needs to be taken consideration for all those cities to be able to reach a space station. And then by doing so for each and every, like for all of the, the various space, the various city width, space station you'll be able to have the result now given that how are we going to approach the algorithm so um to solve this we are first going to initiate our like our result to the first like the first space city why are we doing that because let's imagine you have a space city here this is our face our first space city no matter what happened, if this is our our first space city, that means the element zero, we have to move from its position to the first space city, and that will be the first maximum. And then while moving on, if you find another maximum, we are going to erase it. And then another interesting thing we need to take into consideration is that the last one is almost the same as the first one. So the last one for for it to uh, the nearest space city from the last one is actually the last space city. So let's imagine this one for instance. If you have a space city here, the nearest space city from this one will be actually that element, no doubt. And then the same from uh, moving from the start. If you have a, the first space city here, the nearest element from zero to here is will be actually this distance so taking those two corner cases and then the general aspect of um, in between two cities we should be able to to have the solution so let us implement that and see what it gives 
before getting deep into the implementation, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, I will encourage you to subscribe to do not miss what we are doing here in terms of data structure, algorithm, and problem solving. So let us start. The first thing we, are, we need to do is that we need to sort our, our array because you do agree with me that Everything we are doing here is based on the fact that, you know, when we are talking, the, when we are taking the distance in between two sitting, it's based on the fact that they are, they are other. So we need to, to order our array of cities, array of station. This is the array of station. Once the array of station is ordered, we need to create a result. Like I said recently, the first one, like the distance from the zero to the first space station is actually our first maximum. And then while moving, we are going to erase if we find any distance greater than this. Now, what we are supposed to do now for the last one. So the last one is actually, like we said, the distance from the last one to the last one, the last element to the nearest space city is actually n minus one because if you have five elements, the city is actually zero base. So you need to perform the n minus one minus the, the last city. So this is actually the value that the last city needs to perform in order to reach a space station. And then we are supposed to compute the maximum of this one and then the first one, because we are looking for the maximum. Those are the two corner cases we were mentioning. Now we can deep dive in, we can dive into the, the core logic so we are going to use a loop. So we are going to loop in between space station. And for each of the space station, we have this represent, this one represent the distance in between. So if I take four minus zero, it will give me, this one will give me uh, actually four. It, it represent the length of this plus one. And then if you have the length of this, plus one, you can divide it by two and actually have the maximum distance for each of the elements in this range. So that is why I'm computing this result with a max of this and this. Now, uh, taking that in consideration, let us run and see what it gives. You have a congratulation, everything in green, let us submit. We have a congratulation, everything is going. So now taking in consideration the complexity of this algorithm, we are going to say it's big of n log of n because of this sort, because we are performing is we are sorting our input here. And then there's in one interesting thing to, to take in consideration here, the cities are actually number from zero to n. So we kind of, we are aware of the maximum value of element in this array. So we can make use of counting sort, in fact, not exactly the counting sort, but um, the idea of the counting sort to sort this array on our own with big of n. So how will it look like? It will look something like this. I can comment this out. So I'll just take this one and then the function will look like this. So you do agree with me that this counting sort is actually um, perform a big of n operation. I have a for loop here, I have a for loop here and I'm returning my, my result. So by doing so, now you can claim that your algorithm is big of n without even like completely big of n. Let us run and see what it gives. Nice, we have everything green. So this was my approach of solving this. I hope you do enjoy it. Feel free to leave me a message in the comment section. I'll be really happy to interact with you regarding this. Take care, keep learning. See you on the next video. Ciao.